Everybody. So today we're going to be coloring this Whimsy Stamps image called K-Dance. This was the February 2013 Water Coloring Card Kit of the Month. And if you'd like to see if that's still available, I'll put a link to the store down in the description box. And just type in K-Dance in the search bar and see if it pops up. If not, check out the other kits while you're over there. So I've already um, stamped my image on Nina 80 Pound Solar White Cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's get started. So let's start by coloring her skin, and I'm going to use E21 and E00. And I'm going to start with E21, and I'm going to start down here on her leg. And then I'm going to grab E00 and fill that the rest of the way in. It's such a tiny area that it's just going to fill that right in. It doesn't take any time at all. And then I'm going to move up here to her arm. And I always start by laying down my ink where I want it to be darkest. So I want it to be darkest right along the bottom of her arm. A little wrist right there. She's got this great little elbow. And I think I'll maybe do a little bit in between these fingers. Just a little bit. And then for this arm, I'm going to do right underneath of her hat. And I'm going to do the underside of her arm and her right next to her sleeve. And then I'm going to grab E00. And I'm going to fill that in. So but I start by putting my pin down on top of my E21. And I'm just going to pull up into her white area of her arm. And I'm going to go clear along that line I already laid down. And smooth that line. And then I'll come up here and fill in the rest of her arm. And same for this one. So I'm going to brush on top of the E21, flicking out into the white. And then color it the rest of the way in after I've gotten rid of that line. And then for her face, I'll again grab E21. And let's do right next to her little chin and right next to that hair. And then I'm going to do where her hat would cast a shadow. I'm going to come down by her hair. And I'm going to come around on her chin and up to her little cheek right there. Okay, and then I'm going to grab E00. And again, lay down your pin on top of the E21. And we're just going to brush that line and feather it away from itself into the white. Okay, and then for cheek color, we're going to have R20 and R30. So I'm just going to give her a little rosy cheek. Give her a little circle. Maybe come around this side of her hair just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab R30. And I'm going to very lightly brush away from my edge of my R20. And then I'm going to take my E00. And I'm just going to very lightly brush right over her whole face again. So let's work on her hair, and for that I'm going to use E55, E53, E51, and E50. And I'm going to start with E55. I like to color dark to light, so it works best for me. So I'm going to start by laying down some E55 right up here next to her little bandana. So I'm just going to very carefully go next to her bandana and flick down away from it just a little bit. And then her little hair right here looks like it kind of... Um, curves in behind the other hair, so I'm going to put a little bit of my 55 right here. Oops, I forgot one right here. Okay, and then this one looks like it kind of comes out from behind there, so I'm going to put a little bit on that one too. 
And same for this one. It looks like it's coming out from behind. But I just try to pick some spaces where it looks like it's kind of hidden. Like here's one looks like it kind of dips back down underneath. We're going to brush just a little bit of our 55 in there. And then I always like to do the ends where they're going to curl under. So we're going to put some of that in here. And this one looks like it's kind of going behind. And get the underside of this little circle swirl right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to grab E53 next. And I go right over the top of my 55. And I brush down a little bit further. Just adding a little bit more color. And we'll grab 51. And again, you're going to go right over 53 just a little bit. side right here just a little bit and then I'm going to fill it in with 50 so I'm just going to fill in the rest of my space with my 50 and then I like to go back and add some more 55 so I'm going to grab that and I like to darken up my, my dark space. And I usually go, I f just flick it on very lightly so it leaves some little streaks. And it usually ends up going past where I laid my 55 last time. We're just adding a few little hair strands in there. I think I might actually add one to this one here. Even though I didn't the first time. It looks like it needs a little bit of dark right there. Roll up on this and brush a little bit on there like that. I'll bring these down just a little bit more. Uh, maybe this one. Next, let's go ahead and do her little hair band there, her, her little headband. And for that, I'm going to use 100 black, N9, N7, and N5. And I'm going to start with my, my 100 first, and I'm going to lay down where I want it to be the darkest. So I want it to be darkest right along this hat. So I'm just going to very carefully go right along the edge of my hat. And I'm trying not to touch those, cover up those circles. And then down here where it kind of scrunches in, I'm going to add a little bit of that. But I think I'll also get both of these little, these three little seams she's got there. And let's do a little bit right along the edge of these bows. Like that. And then I'm going to grab N9. And I'm going to brush right on top of the 100. I'm going to pull that out just a little bit further. Same with up here. I'm going to go over those lines that I already went over. Bring it up just a little bit there. And then we're going to go right along this line. And I'm going to grab N7. And we're going to go add a little bit on top of our N9. Brush that up. Let's brush down from this way a little bit. Go around those dots. Maybe add a little bit right here. And then I'm going to fill it in with N5. brush right along there, softening those lines up. Okay, 
again, I accidentally colored in a couple of these little circles. So I'm going to take my colorless blender and set it in the middle of my circle and kind of give it a little swirl, pushing it out of my circle back to the black. Push that right back out. better. Okay, so now we're going to do our dress, and for that we're going to do R35, R85, R83, and R81. And I'm going to start with R85, and I'm going to color her sleeve. Well, let's do, let's get a little closer there. Let's color her sleeve, so I'm going to color right this cute little cuff she's got and that little bow. And let's do this little piece of her bodice. And we're going to do this little cuff and this bow. Like that. And then let's do right next to her arm on this little piece of bodice that's sticking out like that. Okay, and then I'm going to grab R85 and we're going to add that right next to this cuff. And she's got some lines there that show wrinkles, so I'm going to go ahead and go up those. And same with this side, we'll go right along the cuff and go up those lines. And I think I'm going to bring this one down and bring my shadow up right here to where her hair is falling on it. And then for this little piece of her bodice, I'm going to go over the R35 and add some R85 right on top of it. And then I'm going to grab R83. We're going to extend those lines. We're going to go right over the top of the R85. Soften those lines. Go right along the back. Maybe bring this line up just a little bit. And then we're going to fill in a little bit more of her bodice. And then we're going to grab R81 to fill the rest of those sleeves in. And then I'm also going to fill in this little section here where it's tied with this, like that. Okay, and then we're going to go down here and we're going to do the skirt. And for the skirt, I'm going to switch back to R85. And I picked the R85 because it's got a bright pink color to it, and I thought it would maybe add some more shadows um, underneath the R85. I'm going to go right along the seam, and I'm going to go right here and go down this line, and we'll go right along her arm, all the way over here, but I also want to get some of these lines, so we're just going to go like this. Add some shadows in there. Let's go. This one looks like it falls towards the back. It's kind of been in right there. So let's get these. And this one looks like it goes, see, it dips in. And that one's dipping in. And I'm going to grab the 85, and I'm going to go right over the top of my 35, coloring over the top of it, and pull it out just a little bit further. So I'm filling in a little bit of that white, but still going over the R85, or the R35, so it's making it more of a purplish pink. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe bring that one out a little bit more. Continue along over to this side. Lots of definition in there. Then we're gonna grab 83. I'm gonna fill this little bitty space in all the way. And here's another little bitty space. I'm gonna fill that in. And we're just going to brush over the top of our 85 a little bit more. Bring some of these lines together. Soften up those lines as we come down. And fill it in over here the rest of the way. There's not too much space left over there. And then I'm going to grab 81 to fill it the rest of the way in. Brush right over that line. Try to be careful so I don't go out of lines here at the bottom. Brush over this one. Sometimes I have to brush over um, a couple times to soften my line up. Try not to have any harsh shadows there. Okay, and then let's get the underside where the light's shining on under here. Like that. Our skirt looks pretty good. So we also have to add some of these colors down here to her boot. So again I'm going to go back to my R35. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. Let's do right here on this little part of her boot on this side. Then we're going to get right here on the inside of this one. And right here. And we're going to do this accent part with a little bit. R85, uh, cover in this side of her boot, brush a little bit more on top of that, fill in the inside of that boot, brush over your 35 and pull out a little bit further on that. Here, we're going to bring this up like that. And R83 is next. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little. I'm going to leave just a little bit of my 81 on that side. And bring this one over this little hump, I think. And bring this up just a little bit more. Fill that little part in the back, back there in. And then R81 to fill it in. Now let's fill in our boots, and for that we're going to use E43, E42, and E41. And I'm going to start with E43, and I want my boots to be darkest right along the pink and along the back where it touches this other boot. And then she's got a little crease right here, so I'm going to go ahead and color that underneath. 
And then for this side, we're going to go same thing right along that pink and then up the back of her boot. And I'm going to color the sole of her boot in. It's pretty tiny, so you want to just use the tip of your marker. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a 42 and I'm going to brush right over the top of my 43. to get that little wrinkle right there. And brush over this side. I want to get in between some of these little hearts she has there on her boot. Let's get on this side just a little bit. And then we're going to grab 41 to fill it in. Right over that. Brush around this side. And brush over this just a little bit more. She's got this great little um, lariat there on her side of her boot that I'm going to use R85 to just fill that in. So I'm going to take just, it's really dinky, so I'm just going to use just the very tip of my pen to color these cute little lariat hearts in on her boot. that. Okay, let's also, while we have these browns out, go up here and color her hat. So again, I'm going to start with um, 43. And so I want her hat to be, uh, let's get a shadow right here where it dips in. Okay, and then I want it to have a shadow along the bottom of her hat. So I'm going to go right along this bottom clear over to this side. And then I also want it to have a shadow. It's kind of tipped down on the front here, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit right here in between these flowers. That's going to have dark, plus then I don't have to think about it anymore. And then I'm going to go right along this hat band, like that. Then I'm going to grab 42, and I'm going to brush over the top of the 43, pulling up into my white. Same with this side. Let's go clear along that line. And it's still got a line there, so I'm going to go back and go over it again. And we'll go up here and add some to our hat top. that. And then I'm going to grab the 41 to fill it in. I'm just going to go right along that line of 42. Brush, brush, brush. Same with this one. I'm going to go right along that line. Pulling up more up here to the top of my hat. Fill in this top part and go up here and get the top of the hat. Brush over that line. And I brush down here, brush up a little bit more. Soften that line even more. Maybe you soften this line just a little bit more. Looks like a hat. And then if you ended up with any of 
your color on your flowers, just go in with your colorless blender and push it out. It was kind of messy there, I got some on my flowers. So as long as we're up here on the hat and we can see the flowers, let's go ahead and do those. And for the flowers, I'm going to use B37 and B34. And for the center, I'm going to use Y19. So I'm going to grab my B37 first. And I'm just going to flick away from the center and add a little bit of blue to each of these little flowers. And if they're bigger, I'm going to kind of extend it out and pull it into the flower just a little bit more. Same for this side. Go right around that center. Adding some blue. And she's also got a couple down here, so as long as we got these blues out, we will just add some color on there. And I'm going to grab B34 and flick right over the top. And I actually didn't go all the way to the end. I just kind of willy-nilly flicked over the end of my blue and I didn't touch the end of the petals. And I just left those white. And the same thing for up here. I just kind of flicked off of my blue a little bit and if it went clear to the end, great. If it didn't quite touch the end, awesome. And then I took Y19 and I colored in the centers. Go ahead and dab each little center of my flower. And these great ones down here. And then for my stems, I used Y, sorry, G19 and G14. So I'm going to grab G19 first. And I'm going to put a little bit of that under right next to each flower stem. And then I'm going to do these leaves a little bit and maybe where they come out of her hand and then she's just got a couple up here so I'm going to touch each one of these just a little bit and then I'm going to grab the 14 to fill them in it's a nice bright green And then fill these in around here. And those stems are pretty dinky, so you gotta be kinda careful. Next, let's go do her underskirt here. And for that, I'm gonna use N5 and N3. And I'm gonna start with my N5. And I just went right along just the edge of where it peeks out underneath of her skirt. Just a little bit. And then I grabbed my N3 and I filled it in. I laid down my pen right on top of my N5 just a tad so that it would pull a little bit of that line away. It's a pretty small area. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to go and do this cute little puppy. And for him, we're going to use N9, N7, N5, and N3. And I'm going to start with my 9. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark right here along the bottom of his tail. And right next to where he's touching her boot. And along the top of his tail. And then I'm going to get his top of his little foot and kind of come up his front around this little leg. And by his collar. And we're going to get underneath of his face and right up here next to his little tuft of hair. Like that. And then I'm going to grab N7. And I'm going to brush right over the top of that, but I want to add just a little bit more color. Just maybe fill in the front here. Just a little bitty area left. And brush over the top of this a little bit. Come back over this. And then I'm going to grab my five. And we're going to add a little bit more. I'll leave just enough space for my three. I'll go maybe over here just a little bit. Underneath of his nose a tad. And then I'm going to grab my three to fill that in. And then he's got the end of his tail and um, the hair on his head and his ears here. So for that I'm going to start with my three. I'm just going to add a little bit on there like so. And then I'm going to grab my N0 to fill that in. Then his tongue is R35. And his collar is E33. And I don't remember what I colored the inside of his mouth, but I'm just going to give it a dab of N0 right there, just so it's not completely white. So now I want to outline my image. And so for that, I'm going to take C0, and I'm just going to go all the way around. So I'm going to go right in that little spot where the doggy has a space in between his girl. And I'm just going to very carefully go all the way around, making a line. i just get in here where her hair's not at. All the way around my girl. That makes her pop a little bit off of the page instead of looking like she's just sitting on the paper. It gives her a little bit of a 3D look. Around my leaves, my flowers, clear up here around my hat. Maybe give this little curly cue a little bit of shadow. On this side, around this leaf, get in between her face there. Fill, fill in in between these great little leaves and flowers. between the stem and back down to her boot. 
next we're going to do the ground, and for that, that we're going to use W5, W2, W00, B00, and R00. And I'm going to start with W5. And I'm going to make it look like she's not standing flat. So I'm going to start over here about the dog. And I'm just going to dot away from him just a little bit so, so I know where to start. And I'm going to kind of eyeball it over here to the other side. And do the same thing away from her. Just so I know where my ground's going to stop there. And then I did like a little dotty, dotty thing for her to stand on, like gravel. So I'm just going to take my pen and go up and down sort of fast. You don't want the pen to stick on the paper too much because the longer it sits there the more ink it leaves and leaves bigger dots. So you try to do a quick up and down motion. Okay. Then I'm going to grab um, W2 and I'm going to go out a little bit further. So I'm dotting dot 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 dot. Some dots are smaller, some dots are bigger out here away from this line. Maybe fill in down here a little bit. Go along this line again. I'll get a little bit closer to root there a little bit. And then I'm going to grab W00 and I'm going to do the same thing and I try to go in, in between some of the dots and fill in some more space. Up here on top of those. Get a couple more up here in between your boot, maybe. And then I also did the B00 and R00 just because there was blue in the in the picture up above. So I'm going to take my B00 and add some blue dots out this way. Just so it coordinates with the colors I already had going on up there. And then R00. a little something to stand on. And you can go back in and add as many dots as you wanted. So let's zoom out. So that is K-Dance um, with Copic Markers. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.